Hey everyone, my name's Taylor with Green Our Planet. We're here at the Switch Innovation Center today and we're going to give you some tips on how we've been using our Super Sprouter germination kit to start seeds for our school hydroponic farm walls. Once you open your kit and take all the parts out, you're going to find there's three basic components to each of these systems. You're going to get a T5 fluorescent light bulb, which is good for uh, sprouting seedlings and growing plants in the vegetative state. Seed germination tray and a humidity dome here. This dome helps to trap humidity and moisture in the system. So uh, you'll notice it has a, a few tabs on the top that can be either opened or closed. Uh, you can leave those open and it's going to let some moisture evaporate out of your system. If you're gone from school on the weekend you might want to close this up just so that over the few days when you're not keeping track of the system it's going to help keep more moisture inside and keep your seedlings happy as they're germinating. For underneath the tray Super Sprouter includes a seedling heat mat so this heat mat just provides a little warmth for your seeds. Seeds like it nice and warm like the springtime when they're germinating um, so this mat gives them a little extra warmth from underneath it's not going to get hot to where it'll burn a student or anything if they touch it. Uh, it's completely safe for the, for the students. You're just going to have that plugged in and sitting right underneath your germination tray as the process of uh, seedlings is going on. Alright, and so today we're getting ready to germinate some seeds for our hydroponic farm wall. We're going to be using seed planting plugs that came with our ZipGrow farm wall system. These are a polymer bound planting plug. It's basically coconut coir, sometimes peat moss or a combination of both that are bound together with a food safe glue and these are pre-drilled with a pre-piloted with a seed planting hole here so it'll be at the right depth which is about a half inch to or so deep. Uh, it's going to be good for seeds to germinate. Uh, it's easy for students to use because you don't have to worry about the depth they're planting at as much. And these plugs you'll notice I have arranged based on our tower setup. But you'll see here that I have two varieties I'm planning to plant. And I've arranged these in eight rows so that I have uh, one set of seeds germinating for each of my eight towers in the system. Not every seed is going to come, is going to be successful in germination. And not every plant's going to make it when you first transplant it into the farm wall towers. So for that reason it's good to have a few extras on hand so that you won't be short if they don't all germinate and if a few of them don't make it through the transplant we'll have replacements on hand. I've got a black Simpson seed and a freckles lettuce which is a favorite of our greener planet farmers. My seed sprouting plugs I've divided into two sections. Uh, so I'll have one, one section for the Simpson seed and one section for the freckles lettuce. Um, I've used a few plugs here, extra plugs, just to keep these from toppling over. Uh, that's also going to allow the water in the tray to flow right through them. If your plant's successful and grows, by the time it's reached maturity and harvest, the roots are going to take over this whole cube to where it's not going to be reusable. However, if you're trying to sprout seeds and some of them are unsuccessful, you'll be able to uh, use the cube again for a different seed. I did soak my plugs in water for about 10 minutes before I planted so that when I add this water at the end it's not going to just suck everything up immediately. We've planted with several classes. Some of them uh, use a strategy where students will come up uh, kind of a single file line and they each get to plant a uh, seed in the, uh, in the tray and we kind of cover those up as, we, as they plant so we know what's in there. Another strategy I might use to plant with the class would be to give them a couple of plugs each and the correct number of seeds. Students have a tendency to want to put eight or ten or just sprinkle a bunch of seeds onto a, a plug. You know for a student you might give them two plugs and like four or five seeds on a sheet of paper. With lettuce and small crops I a lot of times will put two seeds in each sprouting cube just to make sure that one of those is going to germinate for me. So I like using a white paper underneath my seed so I can keep track of where they're at. I'm just going to slide these off the page onto my finger here 
and we're gonna drop those right down in that little pre-piloted hole. And that one's planted, ready to go into our tray here. With your school system, we provided some vermiculite, which is used to cover the top of these seed uh, cubes once they're planted. That just keeps, uh, that, that makes the seed feel more like it's underground. The light's not getting directly to it. And personally, I've just had better success germinating seeds when I put a light covering over them. Now, I don't have vermiculite on hand today, which is what we provided to you. Um, but I do have some uh, peat moss, which you just want an inert material that's not gonna, you don't need nutrients or anything like that. You just want something that you can lightly cover your, your seeds with. Helps keep a little moisture on the top and it helps keep the lighting level right for these seeds when they're first germinating. All right, our seeds are planted, they're covered and we're ready to get this kit set up and turned on. The water's important because you want the seeds to be moist at all times, but you don't want them to be soaking wet. Um, so I'm gonna fill this to a depth, you know, just about a quarter to half an inch of water. We don't want the top half of this cube where our seed is planted to be submerged in water or the seed's not gonna germinate properly. Uh, you'll wanna check the water level on a regular basis because when seeds are small, if they dry out, they're gonna die quickly. Now that we've got our water in and our seeds planted, we're gonna add this humidity dome on top. Our T5 light bulb is gonna sit right in this channel on the top of the dome. And we just wanna make sure that we're close to an outlet because we've got a couple pieces to plug in. It's best to have both the heat mat plugged in and, and warming those seeds and our light plugged in. Personally when germinating seeds I leave my light on 24 7 uh, as the seeds are, are sprouting and developing. Seeds need a minimum of 12 hours of light so you can use a timer 12 hours on 12 hours off uh, really any amount of light between 12 and 24 hours is going to be good for your seeds to germinate. Seeds like consistency, they want the light to come on and go off at the same time just like the sun is going to rise and set similar time each day. So I hope this helps answer some of your questions about getting seeds started for your hydroponics wall. Definitely contact us if you have any other questions and we'll be glad to help you get, get everything going.